cowbells have been ringing nonstop since the Olympics started, and many of the ones that we're seeing and hearing in Paris are actually from Utah. Yeah, new special Shelby Lofton takes us to the Bell Barn in Fairview, where one Utah couple works day and night to keep that noise alive. Several cowbells from one U.S. company are ringing throughout the Olympic venues in Paris. Each one of those has passed through Fairview, Utah. Music to Eva May and Bob Cook's ears. You can tell the difference in the sound. For the last 24 years, these cowbells have been their livelihood. The Cooks worked with Cowbells.com during the 2002 Salt Lake City Olympics. People knew nothing about cowbells. We had to educate them as I had to be educated. The Moen bells come from Norway. This little hammer. Where cowbell ringing is tradition. You're clapping with your gloves because it's cold outside. And so the bell lets the athletes know that you're cheering for them. They're engraved at the bell barn in the Cooks' house. The sound has since become synonymous with a Team USA victory. We're proud of who we are. You know, the, our athletes, and we're there to cheer them on. Hundreds of cowbells left their Fairview home for Paris, France. We did 300 bells for the delegates in Paris. They echoed from Europe back to the States last week when Salt Lake City was named host of the 2034 Winter Games. I was there with my 12-year-old son in 1995 for the announcement for the 2002 Olympics. And so it was important for us to be there. Um, and at that time, we didn't know we'd be involved with the Olympics. They're excited for the games to return home. They say there's always room for more cowbell, especially when it's in their own backyard. The more noise, the better. The cook said their orders have picked up ever since the Olympics started, and some Team USA ads have featured their cowbells. They said they are more than ready for 2034. In Fairview, Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.